In this problem, we have to find the discontinuity, discontinuities of this function and determine uh, whether they are removable or non-removable. So notice that this is a piecewise function. So negative uh, 9x by itself is continuous. And x squared minus 2x plus 3 by itself is continuous. The problem comes into play when you try to put them together into a single function. So the only problem might be at 2. So let's investigate um, the continuity at 2. So to do that, because it's a piecewise function and we have uh, less thans and greater than symbols, we'll take one-sided limits and see what happens. So if we take the limit from the left as x approaches 2, well, if we're approaching from the left, that means x is smaller than 2. So we're going to use this piece. So this is negative 9x. And we can take the limit by plugging in 2. So this is negative 9 times 2. That's negative 18. So from the left, we get negative 18. Let's investigate the limit of this function from the right. So from the right, well, that means x is bigger than 2, right? If we're approaching from the right, it's bigger. So we use the bottom piece. So this is actually x squared minus 2x plus 3. We can evaluate this limit by plugging the number in. So we get 2 squared, which is 4, minus 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 3. So we just get uh, 3. So from the left, we get negative 18. From the right, we get 3. Therefore, the limit, as x approaches 2, of our function, f of x, does not exist. So that means two things. One, it means it's not continuous at 2. So x equals 2 is a discontinuity. Right? Remember, the limit has to exist for the function to be continuous. And secondly, it also means that the limit, that the discontinuity is non-removable. Recall that uh, if the limit is a DNE, it's non-removable. Uh, if the limit exists, it's removable. This is typically used um, for piecewise functions and absolute value functions. For rational functions, we don't have to go through all of this. We just know that vertical asymptotes are non-removable and holes are removable. But for piecewise functions and absolute value functions are a little bit harder, so we have to go through this process, right? We take the limit from the left, the limit from the right. Because it's DNE, it's non-removable. If we had gotten the same answer here, it would have been that answer here and it would have been removable. I hope this video has been helpful.